<laughs> because it is going to be wet. But these are the typical April showers we see here in the Pacific Northwest. I like to say April showers keep the flowers as the roadies are starting to bloom across the Portland metro area. If you happen to have any spring or rain photos or videos that you'd like to share, scan the QR code on your screen right now and that will direct you to coin.com where we can continue the conversation right here on coin six. Now our current conditions out towards Vancouver show those low hanging clouds. A few of those isolated raindrops still falling their way across the region. That will be the case over the coming hours as we currently sit at a PDX at 49 degrees expecting to hold on to the wet weather not only through the mid morning hours but well into the afternoon as our temperatures don't budge very much at all. Upper 40s to the low 50s are on the docket as our satellite and radar paints a very wet picture for us here across the metro area. Actually starting to see just a bit of some drying out towards the Vancouver Camas area. But that is all short lived. Everything's tracking its way from the southwest to the north and the east as the atmospheric river continues to flow all of that wet weather from the state of Hawaii right into our neck of the woods, where we're actually picking up out towards Longview. Some heavier downpours that have been persistent over the past several hours, indicated by those yellowish oranges, reds, and even some maroons, something we don't always typically see. But it's been a soggy April for us, already managing to put an inch and a quarter of rain in into our rain gauge so far this month and even back on the 8th picking up on just a trace of the rain that puts our departure from normal with a surplus of three quarters of an inch with all of that wet weather it's helping to rise our rivers here not only over the cascades due to the higher snow elevations the rain falling over the snow is melting that and that all eventually ends up into our rivers and streams that's the where the Tualatin River is near flood stage for us as we crest at about 17 inches or so. Not only are we looking at the rivers on the surface, but up in the atmosphere, that's where the atmospheric river is taking aim at the Pacific Northwest. The flow of moisture all the way from the Pacific on shore moves up over the coast range into the Willamette Valley and falls as snow up in the highest levels of the atmosphere. As far as the atmospheric river, it is going to start to degrade as we move towards Tuesday, drifting its way to the south as a low pressure system and a weakening front push their way through, keeping the rain potential for the start of the day tomorrow, but drier skies return by the evening as a trough of cold air continues to sit over western Oregon and Washington, keeping our temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees below what's normal. As the wet weather continues to find its way up and down the I-5 quarter, that will be the case well into Monday afternoon and evening and we'll see just a few breaks here and there for the start of the day Tuesday, but it's not until Tuesday afternoon and evening. Some of those clouds will start to break apart and then we see the wet weather continue even in Wednesday. So that's going to put additional 48 hour rainfall totals at about an inch, inch and a quarter to nearly two inches in many cases as we expect to hold on to the wet weather trend until about Thursday. Then drier skies return just in time for the weekend. But today's high 52 degrees and northwest winds at about five to 10 miles per hour. Seven day forecast does keep the wet weather and below average temperatures for us all the way through Thursday. But Friday, Saturday, drier, sunnier skies and temperatures going above normal, normal being about 60 degrees as we expect a daytime high on Saturday of 64. Thank you very much, Josh.